Hi everyone, this is a quick video about text editors and which ones work well with Python and Pygame specifically. Um, so we've been using Idle up till now if you've been going through the beginner series. And Idle is nice because it comes with Python and it's there when you install it, but it's not very good for when you get a little bit more advanced. Um, so we're going to leave Python Idle behind. And we're going to use something called Atom. Um, there's lots of different text editors out there, and if you have a favorite one already that you'd rather use, that's fine. I like Atom, it works pretty well, and it's available for whatever kind of computer you might have. So the website is atom.io, and you're just going to click the red download button, and it'll download the right one for your type of computer. Okay, when you finish downloading Atom and you launch it for the first time, it's going to look like this. So it's almost ready to go, but there's a couple of things we need to do in the settings just to get everything working perfectly uh, for programming in Python. So I'm going to go ahead and close these welcome screens, and then I'm going to choose preferences. If you're on Windows, the preferences is under the file menu, but on the Mac, it's under Atom. We open preferences. Now there's lots of options, and most of them we don't have to mess with. But I'm going to scroll down to show indent guide. Okay, that's going to be really helpful when you're making sure you indent things properly in Python. And you want to make sure soft tabs is checked. It should be. And we want to set our tab length to 4 because that's the correct amount for Python. All right, a couple other things. If we click over here on packages, wait a second. There's lots of packages that are already installed basically for different uh, functions, different programming languages you might be using. The specific one we want to turn on is auto save. And if we click on settings, we can click enabled right here. That way our programs will get automatically saved every time we click away or close it. You can't forget to save it. Okay, and one more thing to do, and we need to click on install. And here we're going to install a package to help us um, run our Python programs. So if you type in atom runner and search, then it's going to go and find it. There it is, atom runner. So just click install. All right, we click on packages, atom runner is installed. Now if you're on Windows, you are finished. If you're on the Mac, there's one more thing we need to do. If you follow the directions for installing Python and Pygame, and the link is below if you haven't done that yet, uh, you're going to need to do one more thing. So if we go up here to open your config, we're going to have to add a little something here. It looks like this. We have to say for Atom, uh, or sorry, for Runner, Okay, for runner we need to do Python and we need to tell it to use user local bin Python 3. If you don't do this, it'll try to use the default version of Python, which is an old one that comes with OS 10 and will not work with Pygame. So if you do that, we'll make sure we save it and you should be good to go. Now that step was for Mac only. Now let's just make sure it works. We can type in a quick little program. Make my font size a little bigger here. We'll just print out a couple of quick uh, random numbers. Okay, I'll save that. You need to make sure to put PY at the end. PY tells the computer and Adam that this is a Python file. And you'll know that it knows it's a Python file when it highlights everything in color properly. Okay. Now to run it, you're just going to type Control R. Or on the Windows, you're going to type Alt R. Either way, you'll see the program run. It runs over here. If I, if I type uh, Control R again, every time I type it, it runs. All right, and we are done. If you want to, 
you can go and play around over in the settings with the themes. There's all sorts of different colors you can use, different styles. You can play around with that if you like. I tend to like the tomorrow and the one dark is what I'm going to be using, but you can use whatever you want. All right, and we're ready to go start learning to use Pygame. So I'll see you in that video series.